Hi, this is Walt Mossberg from the Wall Street Journal, and this week I took a look at an app for the iPad that brings some functionality to the iPad that people have been wanting, and that is the ability to use the productivity features of Microsoft Office, real Microsoft Office, on your iPad. Uh, the product is called On Live Desktop, and um, what it does is it creates uh, a uh, a Windows desktop on your iPad that uh, includes Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, and Microsoft PowerPoint, which are the three key productivity apps in Microsoft Office. And it's free. Um, the way it works is it's a cloud-based application. You uh, uh, launch the OnLive desktop app on your iPad. It takes you to a remote server where uh, a computer, a server is running Windows and running in particular Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. You're able to launch them from your iPad and use them as if they were on your iPad. You can create uh, your own new documents and you can edit other documents that you have uploaded from your PC or Mac. And in my tests, um, it worked with almost no latency. It felt as if uh, these, I was running uh, regular uh, Windows and regular uh, uh, Office for Windows uh, on my iPad. Um, but it does have some downsides. Um, for one thing, because it's a cloud-based app, it won't work at all if you don't have an internet connection, as is true on many, uh, for instance, airplane flights. won't work at all. Uh, and if you have a slow connection uh, under one megabit a second, which is possible, uh, in hotels, uh, for instance, when, uh, when the hotel Wi-Fi is uh, overloaded, you'll find that uh, it won't let you in either. Um, also, uh, as with other uh, productivity apps where you're doing long documents on an iPad, the virtual keyboard that you have to use, which in this case is the Windows virtual keyboard, not, not, the, uh, not the one on the iPad itself, uh, it becomes kind of tedious to use to write a long document or uh, uh, create a long uh, PowerPoint presentation or something. And so I recommend if you use on live desktop that you get a Bluetooth keyboard. Uh, and there are many of those available for the uh, iPad. Now there will be a, a cut two versions of this to start. Uh, one is uh, free. You get two gigabytes of storage. Uh, you uh, get those three key uh, programs to use, but you cannot add other programs to your OnLive desktop. And um, they don't guarantee that you'll be able to get into the system to use Word, Excel, and PowerPoint every time you want or any time you want if it's crowded and other people are already using it. In other words, in the free version, you're not guaranteed access. Um, there will be, in the coming weeks, a paid version, a pro version, $10 a month. You'll get 50 gigabytes of storage. You will get to add additional applications to your OnLive remote desktop. You'll be able to collaborate uh, with other people on uh, documents, and you'll be able to um, get what they call priority access to the servers, which still isn't exactly a guarantee, but I assume it means that uh, you'll have an easier time or, or, or almost a guarantee of getting in uh, to the system when you want to get into it. Uh, my bottom line is that um, this uh, is uh, technically very impressive. Uh, it really did work for me, uh, but um, it has enough caveats and rough edges to it that um, you should be prepared to deal with those. This is Walt Mossberg. And I'll see you next week.